What's up my crypto legends in this episode we take a look at Bitcoin and yes looking at the daily nothing has changed just too much we did get rejected from this kind of neckline that 44.5k levels you know this inverse head and shoulder you might see in this in a lot of places right now but I want to focus on the potential scenarios that could happen in the next coming hours in the next couple of days to see what could happen guys because there's a bullish and a bearish case scenario and they both have incredible trading opportunities we either they gain this high over here and we fall back down or we either gain this low and this would be the most bullish case scenario and then have a massive a big pump guys i want to talk about this scenario and explain why this is very very likely to happen one or another and why these areas over here are very good for trading okay so make sure to stay tuned in this episode Hello there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Sensors and YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe, Daily Tay on Bitcoin. Also, do live streams connected with the community. I'm doing a live stream today with Natalie, so make sure to subscribe. I am not a financial advisor, so don't buy or sell anything that I say. And a quick reminder, guys, if this video gets over a thousand likes and you comment down below, you are eligible for a giveaway in Bitcoin. Now, guys, I want to show you here the most bullish case scenario and the bearish case scenario. I want to show you where potential trading opportunities are going to be because this is the thing you know a lot of people don't know you know if the price is going up or down if we break a resistance is this bullish or if we break support is it bearish well you know the deal bitcoin likes to do a lot of fake outs and i could show you a bunch of examples but what i want to focus here on today's video is zooming in here on the two hourly now guys you do know that this is the last high that we do have which is at the 46k just for below forty six thousand dollars. all right is it around about the 45.5 45.6 k levels okay so it's going to be very interesting how bitcoin tries and break breaks how how bitcoin tries to break this in the next coming days or hours potentially and see how what what kind of reaction we are going to have at this level right because it's going to be very very important i know a lot of people are going to become very very bullish on this breakout okay we do have a major major big support level over here all right as you can see end resistance with that attempt so if we break above it does this mean that we are going to continue to the upside or is it potentially going to be a great shorting opportunity and this is what i am looking for and one of the main reasons why here is if i zoom out all depending on the breakout okay because this could slice through and have a big massive big candle okay and then of course that will be quite bullish this means it will be a successful breakout any consolidation here is very likely going to get a bounce but what i want to make you understand if that if we only break by $500 or $1,000, you know, hitting $47,000 and consolidate at that range, not a clear big breakout, this might be a good shorting opportunity because Bitcoin likes to grab liquidity above resistance or below support with these fake outs, right? So if we do hit that $47,000 range, okay, with not too much volume and start consolidating here, it might be a good shorting opportunity, guys. And one of the main reasons why is because of the VPVR. Look at the biggest point of control. I'm looking, you know, from December all the way to February till today biggest point of control right over here is at that 47k levels where we do have this massive big consolidation now yes we are you know marking this support level but it is you know these support levels are important as you can see here where we've been bouncing to see where we could hit it as resistance like we just did here you know the first you know week of february so if we do have that kind of price action guys and consolidate i will be doing a video i'll be doing a live stream you know all depending on how we react to this range it might be a good shorting opportunity and this area okay this level over here where will, where will the price go down to well my take here on this would be losing this major low this high low over here if we do come all the way up here maybe potentially very very likely you know this might take a couple of weeks actually come all the way down and regain this low before you continue to the upside remember the assets you know especially like bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies like to get liquidity above resistance or above or below support 
So just like right over here, right, where you did have this breakout, and this was, you know, pretty successful breakout, you did see some kind of reaction at that range, but then you finally go back up, okay? So the, the, the thing here with this scenario is that basically this is a bull trap, right? That would be a kind of a bull trap breaking this major resistance, just to be pretty clear. So that is a scenario that we're going to pay attention in the next couple of days, all right and the most bearish well the bearish case scenario in the short term which i think is going to be very very bullish zooming in here on the price of btc you do know that we do have a big strong point of control at that 41k levels right this is the start of this major major big you know point of control you know looking at in between january and 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 february so if, um i think if we try and attempt to lose this range it will be a big fake out or depending on the volume you could have a big slice of big volume and then that's it but you know the deal we do not trade this we do not try and catch a falling knife sometimes you have a big wick to the downside it goes back up then yeah that that is that but what i want to what, what i want to see is btc losing this higher low the last higher low over here right and then you know it might be a, a small small breakout if it do, if it is a small breakout this is when i'm going to be bullish um if we do have low volume uh low candle here just about a thousand dollar candle you know losing 41 potentially going to 40.5 or 40k levels then if we consolidate at this range slightly or depending on that kind of price action that we do have in the next coming hours after the breakout it might be a great longing opportunity guys you know the deal i am leaning slightly bullish okay for the next coming weeks the reason why is because of this incredible move that we have had and we are at this consolidation the last big lower high right this range so if we do have that kind of price action getting a bunch of liquidity below the last higher low which is this one at the 41.6 41.5 area then that will be you know potentially a good good buying opportunity reason you know another reason i could get a bunch of reasons right over here and you know looking at the fibonacci extension tool if this were to be an abc correction because you know from from this pump action right there you could see an abc correction before you start pumping well looking at the fibonacci extension tool um if we get the high from the low here to the high this is the the extension of potential waves okay so you've got one wave you've got this other wave now we're potentially creating a bearish wave and this could take us all the way down you know above forty thousand dollars it says 40.2 here so around about 40.2 40.5 you know, that 40,000, low $40,000 range, losing this low and potentially consolidating at this area and then having another leg up. Let's see how the price, what kind of price action we have, guys. So these are the two scenarios. You know, I am leaning slightly bullish. You know, main reason is because this could be the start of a big major uptrend, right? We've lost the lower high, you know, so I'm leaning slightly bullish. Any corrective move to this range, I think is pretty, pretty good. Okay, so that is my take on this um let's see any other reasons i mean i like to check take a look at volume also uh volume is very very important and yeah round about just just slightly below forty thousand dollars okay we have that big point of volume so be careful with big ma massive wicks because if you do have that correct to move you could have a couple of wicks hitting this big candle over here with this huge amount of volume this is also a major major support level for that potential kind of abc correction all right it will be an interesting area if we do see that bearish case scenario in the immediate short term guys so just to be pretty clear pretty clear my trading opportunities are going to be all the way up here for a potential short or depending on how we react and if we dip, um, dip below this low over here depending on what reaction we have here i will be looking for long positions okay that is basically it you know just in a nutshell thank you guys make sure to subscribe to the channel check out bitcoin sensors website we've got the latest news and technical analysis here on the website free information join the telegram group because i am active there sometimes you can tag me there ask me some questions Thank you guys and I will see you in the next one.